good morning everyone so in the previous classes we have seen that how to derive the generating function and once we have the generating function how do we find the coefficient of x raised to the power n or x raised to the power r which means that we are always looking for a r in g of x and this a r gives you the number of the r arrangement or number of the r selections based on the required problem now let us assume that we have given a r and we need to find the g of x so how it can be done so this is what i am saying that how to construct an ordinary generating function whose coefficient of x r which means a r is some specified function of r for example r square or cr3 yes to begin with let us consider one question so we need to find the generating function for a r star which is equal to r a r where the generating function for a r is g of, g of x so we have given one generating function and from this generating function we need to find the generating function for r a r yes so you can see here that one quick observation is that if i differentiate it g of x then r would come here so i will get the term r a r so first thing is to find the required term which is r a r and next is to ensure that this term is the coefficient of x raised to the power r only so if i differentiate it then i will get a1 plus 2a 2x and so on but here i will get r a r x raised to the power r minus 1 and then so on so as i told you i got r a r and now i have to ensure that r a r must be the coefficient of x raised to the power r therefore i multiply x by g dash x which is my required generating function and here the coefficient of x raised to the power r would be r a r so for r a r the required generating function is x g dash x where g of x is known or where g of x is given now the problem becomes a little bit complex when g of x is not given and we need to find the required generating function but one thing is clear from here that to do so we need some initial generating function so first we need to think that what could be the initial generating function so one possible choice is if i take generating function initial generating function as 1 by 1 minus x which is 1 plus x plus x square x raised to the power 4 and so on i can choose this because here a r is a constant so based on our requirement we can do the differentiation addition many things whichever is required now let's see that if this is the initial generating function then how can we address the problems so this is what i assume to be initial generating function now let's assume that we need to find a generating function for a r is equal to 2 r square so as i told you that we can take the initial generating function as 1 plus x plus so on and x raised to the power r now i need r square it means that differentiation would work so d by dx of 1 by 1 minus x which is 1 by 1 minus x square is equal to 1 plus so on and r x raised to the power now if i differentiate it again then i will get term r r minus 1 but i am strictly looking for r square so before differentiating it it's better to multiply it by x and so that you will have this term as r x raised to the power r now you again differentiate it 
and so that this term would become r square x raised to the power r minus 1. So if you differentiate it then this differentiation is 1 by 1 minus x whole square plus 2x because 2 1 minus x cube which is 1 minus x cube 1 minus x plus 2x which is 1 plus x by 1 minus x cube and now I should because I, I need 2r square and 2r square must be the coefficient of x raised to the power r so I must multiply it by 2 and x so if I multiply it by 2x then on the right hand side the coefficient of x raised to the power r would be 2r square which means the required generating function is 2x 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x cube. Yes, so if the approach is clear, let us try one more question. ar is equal to r plus 1 r r minus 1. Yes, if you spend if you think about it then there could be many many approaches one approach says is that you start with x raised to the power r so if you differentiate it thrice then you will get r r minus 1 and r minus 2 yes and then you multiply with the coefficient of x and that gives you the required answer while adjusting some of the terms so that is very simple approach the other approach is you can think a r as r cube minus r. Here what you do is that you find a generating function for r cube, you find a generating function for r and you subtract them that would be the required generating function. Yes, so this approach is very important because sometimes if you cannot find the generating function for the whole term then you can break it into the function of r plus or minus function of r and so on and in that case for each term you find the required generating function and the last approach is that if you see this term and if you recall what is cr3 then it is r factorial 3 factorial r minus 3 factorial yes which is r r minus 1 r minus 2 by 3 factorial so it is again in the same form which we are looking for and it means that you need to recall a generating function 1 minus x 1 by 1 minus x raised to the power 4 if you recall this generating function then the coefficient of x raised to the power r is r plus 4 minus 1 and r which is c r plus 3 r which is equal to r plus 3 factorial and r factorial and 3 factorial if i take 3 factorial on that side then here you can see that the coefficient of x raised to the power r is r plus 3 r plus 2 and r plus 1 yes but what i am looking for i am looking for the coefficient of i am looking ar to be r plus 1 r r minus 1 this is same as that if i consider the coefficient of x raised to the power r minus 2 then it is r plus 1 r and r minus 1 of course so x raised to r is this x raised to r minus 2 is this now i told you that I want to find AR but at the same time AR should be the coefficient of x raised to the power R. It means I can multiply by x square on both the sides. So x square 3 factorial by 1 minus x raised to the power 4 and there you will get the coefficient of x raised to the power R as AR. It means for the given AR the required generating function is 3 factorial x square by 1 minus x raised to the power 4. 
now once we know that for the given ar how do we find the generating function then it has a very interesting application so this theorem says that if hx is a generating function for ar and h star x is the multiplication of two generating function so i discussed the addition and subtraction but not the multiplication so multiplication of two generating function hx which is we believe is known and 1 by 1 minus x then h star x or the coefficient of x raised to the power r is the summation of all ais yes it means that for example your general term is r square and you need to find the summation of i is equal to 0 to n r square then you consider what is hx for r square multiply hx by 1 by 1 minus x and look for the coefficient of x raised to the power n we will do the exercises but first see why it is happening so it is happening because if you consider ax bx and cx as three generating function and if you say that c of x is the multiplication of two generating function ax and bx then the coefficient of x raised to the power n on this side which is cn but on this side it is summation ai and bn minus i yes we have already discussed it i is moving from 0 to n because here ai gives you x raised to the power i and bn minus i gives you x raised to the power n minus i which is x raised to the power n and i can varies from 0 to n the same thing is happening here so here also it is summation ai b res bn minus i but all bi are equal to 1 because the other generating function is 1 by 1 minus x where all the coefficients are 1 this is because it only remains summation ai so now once it is clear then let let's see some questions so to begin with please do try it by yourself you can easily observe that the general term is 2r square and in the first problem we found that the generating function corresponding to to 2r square is 2x1 plus x by 1 minus x cube yes it means my h star x is 2x1 plus x 1 minus x cube multiplied by 1 minus x it is 2x1 minus x raised to the power 4 plus 2x square 1 minus x raised to the power 4 yes and now i find i need to find coefficient of x raised to the power n in h star x it means that in this i need the coefficient of x raised to the power n minus 1 and in it i need the coefficient of x raised to the power n minus 2 now again recall that for the generating function 1 by 1 minus x raised to the power n coefficient of x raised to the power r is c r plus n minus 1 comma r which is distribution of r identical objects to n boxes so the first term would be 2 is there and coefficient of x raised to the power n minus 1 so n minus 1 and 4 boxes are there so 4 minus 1 and n minus 1 and n minus 2 again four boxes are there and n minus 2 which is the required answer by simplifying it you can write it as the first term as n plus 2 c3 and n plus 1 c3 so let's see the last question again you will see that the general term is r plus 1 r and r minus 1 for which we already computed h of x which is 6x square by 1 minus x raised to the power 4 and that's why h star x is 6x square divided by 1 minus x raised to the power 5 and here 
I need the coefficient of x raised to the power n, which is same as coefficient of x raised to n minus 2 in 6 1 minus x raised to the power minus 5 which is c and n minus 2 and 5 boxes are there so 5 minus 1 and n minus 2 and multiplied by 6 so which is the required answer so in the next class we will start the new topic recurrence relation thank you